Hello, welcome to Soulprint Intuitive Tarot's Pick Your Crystal Weekly Reading. So, um, let's get started, shall we? Our first crystal is this beautiful black. Very shiny, very, very solid, very pretty. The next one is a dove gray or a deeper gray. Okay. And the third one is a green. So, <clears throat> I want to just take a moment and, you know, see what, what crystal calls out to you. It may be one. It may be more than one. That's okay. And let's get started, shall we? We're going to start with the black one. So, here we go. What do we have here? We have the Two of Swords. The Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, or sorry, the King of Cups, and the Five of Cups. All right. So, this is kind of a really interesting story that these cards are telling. They're talking about <clears throat> an energy that has to do with a disappointment some sort of a loss, some sort of a, a difficult process, perhaps, that, that you are going through. And the message is eventually ye, we ne all need to move through those periods of time when they happen. And in order to find that sort of um, emotional security, <clears throat> excuse me, that feeling of emotionally being, <coughs> I sorry, emotionally being safe, um, secure, in a good place, steady. There comes a time where a decision needs to be made. And what you do is you hang on to the wisdom gained, sometimes the good memories, sometimes the love, sometimes just the lesson, but you hold on to the wisdom. You make a decision and you let go. This very much feels uh, sort of an energy of you know, you recognize that it is time to let the past lie. You may not want to. You may not feel as if you got to say everything you wanted to say. You may not feel as if this situation is resolved to your satisfaction. But Spirit is saying, there comes a time to let go. And when that happens, you not only heal and, and find that sense of security or safety, but sometimes, simply by virtue of not holding on so tight, the energies are able to start moving in such a way so that you may actually get the resolution that you feel you need in order to lay this to rest. So this is a message about... I kind of almost want to say, let go, let God, you know. It's a message about looking at the sorrows, making a decision that it's time to move past. When you do that, you hang on to that which was the blessing or the gift or the wisdom. And it is through that process that you once again are going to get sort of your emotional equilibrium back. Now, there's a multitude of ways in which you can let go of something 
particularly that which is not tangible, right? Let go of a hurt, um, you know, let go of a disappointment. And I'm just going to share with you one of my personal favorites because I find it very effective, simple, and it works very well. I want you to find yourself a tea light, just one of those little tiny, you know, they burn for one hour kind of tea lights. And I want you to light the intention that your pain, whatever it is you are needing to let go of, will be released as the light flickers. So you're going to send those emotions into the light, literally, as you light the candle. And you're sending them off into a higher energy for transmutation. When the candle extinguishes itself naturally, it's done. It's just as simple as that. Alrighty, so this feels like um, a letting go to gain, you know, recovery, right? Move forward. Okay, the gray one. Let's see what the gray stone has to say. Eight of swords. The eight of wands. The knight of cups. And the magician. Okay. So. You know, sometimes we construct a world or a situation where it is mostly, not exclusively, but mostly created by anxiety, worry, despondency. It is when we find ourselves in a place or a position where we feel unable to move forward, we feel like we cannot see our path clearly to move forward. And this message is talking about when you find yourself in a place like that, in order to be able to move forward in a way that is more emotionally um, satisfying, healing, nurturing, it's, it requires us to, to put a different spin on it, to look at it differently, to move ourselves to a place where we are immersed in powerful, positive energy. So, example. I hate my job, I'm stuck in a rut, I can't believe I can't find another job. Oh my God, I just can't even think about it. Change that to, I am so excited about the new employment opportunity that is on its way to me on the wings of angels. I know the perfect opportunity is there for me. And I am so grateful that it is ready to arrive in my life. Now, is that magical thinking? Is that a positive affirmation? Or is that simply dragging yourself out of a place where you're sort of seeped in lower vibrational energy, which is keeping you stuck? Well, you know, maybe it's all three. But the reality is, 
what you perceive, what you believe, is exactly what you receive. Now, I'm the first one to admit, sometimes it can be really, really hard to kind of hold out hope when around you, things just don't seem to be moving in a way that is um, going in your favor. But it's all about how we think. And if we can catch ourselves channeling those lower vibrational negative thoughts, we really can, as if by waving a magic wand, create a new space, a new place from which to move forward. And one of the most amazing things about energy work like this is once you find yourself in that right place, things tend to move very, very quickly. All of a sudden, communications open up. All of a sudden, messages start going back and forth. All of a sudden, sudden there's clarity, there is movement forward. Well, why is that? It's because you changed the energy that you were stuck in and you allowed for a better flow of communication, of information, of guidance and insight. So whatever this situation is, always remember that you have the power And that power is yours to create the kind of world, the kind of space in which you want to be in. All right. And let's take a look at this green crystal. Page of Pentacles. Five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Here we go. There is through hard work, through focus, through setting your sights on a specific situation, you are going to be able to again move past a place where there may have been hurt, there may have been bickering, there may have been, um, you know, a time and place or situation where you were feeling particularly defensive, where you were feeling sort of locked in, where, you know, you felt that there wasn't the support perhaps that you need. But this is about moving forward and it's about opening up the space to allow new information to come in. And because you're talking about pentacles here, you are talking about something tangible, okay? Are you waiting for information to come in pertaining to uh, finances, to money, to a perhaps, a, you know, government type decision you are waiting for? Is, are you waiting for something having to do with real property, sale, purchase, you know, lease, that kind of thing? Are you waiting for some information pertaining to, for example, your health? That which is physically tangible, okay? The message of this is you're going to be able to move forward because you have sort of diligently been 
working on this, monitoring this, staying on top of this. And now that energy is now shifting forward. It is shifting from a place where it felt very stuck, where it felt there was no movement. In some ways, it was just causing you a lot of, like, just emotional upset. You know, you were worried, you were anxious, something wasn't coming through. Um, but this is a message that spirit is saying, don't give up because it is coming through. It's on the way. You have done what you needed to do. You have been diligent. And it's time for the energy to shift and move forward. And even though it sort of felt like a little bit of an uphill battle, um, the message is that, you know what? You're going to get through it. It's going to come um, to resolution. So this very much feels like, um, I want to say, you know, just something that's sort of been like causing you some stress. Um, you know, waiting for, for stuff, whether it is, you know, approval to come through or financing to come through, uh, whatever it is, um, it can be sort of anxiety producing because, from your perspective, it, it, it's going to have a huge impact on your life and your world. And you're kind of aware of the fact that some of these decisions can often be made in a very dispassionate way. And so there, that then just simply creates a sense of anxiety. But it very much feels like this is past you. You are moving past it. And you are starting to move towards a place where you're going to get the um, resources, the support, the information that you are looking for. It feels very, very much like whatever um, communication was not getting through, messages weren't being received, whatever it is, it feels as if those communications are going to start leveling out now and they're not going to feel quite as... Um, it's kind of chaotic, but it's, it's, it's more like misstep. It's more like being out of step, um, you know, kind of like a perpetual telephone tag um, of some version. But this is definitely a message that it's going to move forward now. You can, you can relax, take a deep breath, and know that that which you have been looking for, waiting for, you're going to get your answer on. And that is going to allow, literally, you to move forward in a way that is really, really going to bring you some clarity, um, some positive energy, some hope for the future. It really is, it, it appears very much to me like it's going to be good news, and it's going to be news that allows you to start kind of making some plans going forward. So... There you have it. So, whether you chose the green, <laughs> the gray, or the black, or whether you chose one or two of them, thank you for joining me today for your weekly crystal reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. Be kind to yourself this week. Be kind. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.